Well, welcome back to the Kilted Texan, and today we're going to be swapping out these Emax Red Bottom 2300KV motors with these 1900 kv 2306 Emax Ecos. So, uh, these are 1900 kv, these are 2300 kv, and I went low on the kv because this is the Mamba F405 stack, so it's a 20 amp ESC, so I figured I'd keep the KV low. This is more of a long range cruiser, so uh, I'm going to take it easy with her and try to make sure she didn't overload that 20 amp stack. But we're going to swap these out. We're going to see what the weight difference between these motors are. Those are extra long wires and such, so uh, we're going to see how this stacks up. Alright, well the first thing we'll notice, if you see here... One's got a hollow shaft, the other one doesn't. But the other thing is, these Emax Eco motors come with some super long wires. Now I actually had to extend the ones on these red bottoms to actually make them fit on this 6 inch. So uh, that's the nice thing, is I ain't going to have to extend those wires at all, so they're just going to be one piece, and that's going to be a happy camper moment for me right there. Uh, next thing we need to go ahead and do is weigh these suckers and find out exactly what the weight difference is between them because it looks like the wires are about the same length so any difference should just be motor let's check that out all right so there we have the emax red bottom motor and she evens out right at about 31.8 grams so let's kick up this eco motor and let's see how much that dude weighs well uh, i'll be honest with you i'm a little disappointed because this one, she weighs in at about 31.4. So we're only losing right at, well, I mean, it's a little under a half a gram per motor. So I'm, I'm quite disappointed with that. I was hoping I'd be saving a lot more weight with that motor. But apparently that is not the case. Well, here is the motors on the quad. And this is a little six inch floss and uh, you got a mamba stack and a caddix turtle on her and I'm running these Emax props these uh, super you know efficient ones that they're supposed to put out it's a six inch so uh, we're gonna go ahead and run her up here and see how she does uh, I got a GPS on for GPS rescue and a uh, XM plus receiver so uh, she'll go out there pretty far so let's go ahead and throw her up in the air and see how she sticks so we took her out here to this school and I figured I'd throw her up and we'd go ahead and see how the video was and I want to listen to it now I'm gonna play a little bit of a, a clip here at half volume so headphone users beware pause it now um, but uh, don't let it play at half volume to let you hear the difference in these motors and those red bottoms. So here we go. So as you can see, you know, there, there might be difference in there some, but it's not very easily seen. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you was an amp draw comparison. So if you notice here, cruising around just about regular level flight, she's running right at about seven and a half amps, somewhere around in there. So about seven and a half. Now if you notice here, this is me doing about the same flight level, but actually with a little less up tilt, may, maybe with the nose down a little bit more, I'm running about 10 amps, maybe even 10 and a half. So I think they do suck a little bit less juice. Now. These things were able to give me all the right performance that I was hoping for. Uh, they didn't skip a beat. They did just fine. Uh, quad went where I wanted it to and, you know, no skips, hips, or jumps, you know. So it just kind of went around normal. So I'd say that the motors are good, but I, I was a little disappointed. I was hoping for a little bit, um, I was hoping for a little bit better than what I got. But, you know, these motors are rock solid, just as solid as little red bottoms, so uh, I don't think you can go wrong with them. I got them from Banggood, and you can too, so uh, have fun and keep her in the air.